I mean, I always say that Venezuela is the only country in the world that has like a government body dedicated only to regulating mining specifically. So like the legal framework is really clear, or at least it's clear for all the parts. I mean, I know what I have to do with, to get things, things done. You read the news about the police seizing equipment and going to the farms, seizing the machines from the miners it's because they don't get the permits, they don't get the licenses. It's a, the government regulator, the government body uh, submitted like an official document and a statement saying that if they ever seize any farm without the permission from the government body regulated mining, and uh, if they do it just like violently without permission and stuff, they will get five years prison. So this has like wow. calmed everything down. Like the police are being more careful now. If they ever go and look, do any audit to the farm, they need to get permission from the regulator. They need to ask first if they are in the process of getting the license. So if they're in the process, they're still good to mine, or at least they just have to turn off the farm. They, don't, they cannot get the equipment from the miners. They cannot get bitcoins from the miners. Because that was what the police was doing. They were bribing the miners. Like, oh, you, oh, you're mining illegally, so I'm gonna take you to jail. No, no, no. So, you know, they, they were threatening them. Uh, so, yeah, okay, I'm not taking you to Yale, but you have to give me 100 of your miners and give me five Bitcoins. This is my wallet. This is how it was working. And it was, it was, it was like a, the Wild West. And now mm-hmm. after this document, and even it was like a presidential, it was signed even by the president. And it was a really good news for us. Now that the police is not, is not able to do these kind of things anymore or, or because they will be punished. 